Tyler Matzik has played a key role in the Braves' run to the World Series. And at first glance, you might think this guy has been a stud his whole career. But that is not the case. In fact, Matzik has faced and overcome many obstacles throughout his career. Let's start back in 2009 where Matzik was one of the best prospects in the 2009 draft. Matzik ended up going 11th overall to the Colorado Rockies. Matzik was drafted out of high school, so he was really a long-term project at the time. But heading into the 2010 season, Matzik was the 23rd ranked prospect in all of baseball. Fast forward a couple years to 2012 and Tyler Matzik put together a monster year at Single A Modesto. In this breakthrough season, Matzik pitched in 75 innings where he punched out 83 batters and had a 3.24 ERA, good enough to land him a spot on the California League All-Star team. This led many scouts in the Colorado Rockies organization to believe that Matzik was ready for the big leagues. But at the same time, the Rockies didn't want to rush Matzik to the big leagues, so they gave him another year in the minors. Fast forward to June 11th, 2014, and Tyler Matzik was making his big league debut. And he did not disappoint. He pitched in seven innings where he allowed five hits, two runs, punched out seven batters, and picked up the win. All in all, Matzik's rookie season wasn't too bad as he started 19 games where he had a 4.05 ERA. And we can't forget, this guy was pitching at Coors Field. So it was really an impressive rookie season for Matzik. And heading into 2015, Matzik landed a spot in Colorado's starting rotation. This really came as no surprise considering how well he pitched as a rookie. But unfortunately for Matzik, this is where things fell off a bit. A couple months into the season, Matzik was sent down to AAA Albuquerque due to some control issues. In one outing at AAA, Matzik walked seven batters in one inning. And at the time, Matzik was having a lot of control issues due to some anxiety on the mound. Many coaches called it the quote-unquote yips. Matzik was just really nervous out there on the mound and he could just never seem to get in his comfort zone. And this was just devastating for Matzik, who at the time was looking like one of the up-and-coming pitchers in the Rockies' rotation. But he ultimately ended up getting surgery, which ended his 2015 season. And after a dreadful 2015 season, Matzik never made it back to the big leagues as the Rockies released him at the end of the 2016 season. And in 2017 through 2019, Matzik was a journeyman. He was picked up by numerous teams including the White Sox, Mariners, and D-backs who all cut ties with him. And at this point in his career, Matzik really didn't have much hope left. There was not going to be a lot of chances left for a guy who hadn't pitched in the big leagues since 2015. But on August 4th of 2019, Matzik got another chance, this time from Atlanta. And for the 2019 season, Matzik pitched throughout AA and AAA. And in 2020, Matzik got the opportunity that he thought he might never get again. Atlanta promoted him to the big leagues where he had a great season. In 29 innings pitched, Matzik was 4-3 with a 2.79 ERA where he punched out 43 batters. And this season for Matzik was just incredible considering he hadn't pitched in the big leagues in 5 years. Matzik was really showing the potential that he showed early on in his Colorado career. Moving over to 2021, Matzik has been a fixture in the Atlanta bullpen all season long. All in all, this year he pitched in 63 innings where he had a 2.57 ERA. And Atlanta has been using him in some high leverage situations, something that he definitely did not do early on in his career. And when looking at this postseason, Matzik has really been one of the most reliable relievers in Atlanta's bullpen. They likely would not be in the World Series today if it weren't for Matzik. Game 6 was a career-defining moment for Matzik. The Braves were up two runs in the seventh inning with a trip to the World Series on the line. There were men on second and third with nobody out, with the Atlanta Braves clinging to a two-run lead. And in came Tyler Matzik, where he had the biggest outing of his career. He punched out Albert Pujols, Steven Souza Jr., and Mookie Betts. And it was just amazing to watch, to see how hyped the crowd got, how hyped Matzik got after coming up huge for Atlanta. This is a type of moment that will hype up any baseball fan, and when you take into consideration that this guy was once a pitcher who had anxiety on the mound, who really couldn't even pitch. Basically, the anxiety was ruining his career. It's something that you just love to see from Matzik, and you just can't not be happy for this guy. Tyler Matzik is one of the best stories you're going to see in baseball today. The adversity this guy had to come over to get to this point is just amazing. 
It's going to be a great World Series we're going to have, and there are definitely going to be some tight situations where the Atlanta Braves will need Tyler Matzik to come through. So all in all, Tyler Matzik's story is amazing. Thought I'd do a video on him just because how big he's come up for Atlanta and what he had to overcome to get to this point. If you guys do enjoy the content, feel free to subscribe. I'm going to be posting plenty of baseball content here going forward, so if you are a big baseball fan, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I want to thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.